are now here with Carissa Swaggart, who is the employee long shot winner. It's every year when they do the long shot competition, there's two uh, non-employee homebrewers and then an employee who also does a homebrew, and that gets judged. And you're the winner this year. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, what do you do for Sam Adams when I'm you're not homebrewing? I'm a national account manager for Sam Adams. So okay. uh, I handle all the chain restaurants in uh, Colorado, Missouri, Southern Illinois, and Kansas. Oh, all right. That sounds like a big job. It is. It's a lot of fun. A lot of uh, quality control involved? Uh, a lot of quality uh, control, a lot of selling. Um, On-premise is a big part of our business, so I, I, I have an amazing job. Okay. Were you a home brewer before Boston Beer Company? No. This is, um, I've been doing this for three years now. I, I'll be hitting my four-year anniversary with Sam Adams in July, and it's a requirement of our company. We're all passion in beer, and it makes better salespeople. So. Okay. So tell me about your beer that's won. Uh, this is my Cranberry Wicks. Um, I love Belgian Wicks. Uh, 400 year old beer style, obviously, so I'm a big fan of it. Um, I love the coriander and the orange peel, and I'm Native American, I'm from Cape Cod, and I wanted to do something where it reminded me of sitting on my deck on the Cape. Um, in the summer, in the fall, and also had that kind of Belgian feel to it. So what I did was kind of researched uh, some Belgian wi- w- recipes. Um, I love Hoe Garden, and I uh, decided to try my luck at Bruner Belgian Wicks, a true Belgian Wick with uh, cranberry juice, um, Grains of Paradise, which is true to my heart because it's true to Sam Adams' heart, so I wanted to throw that in there. Um, and I love cinnamon. I love uh, sugary spices, so I wanted to throw that in there, something that was nice, balanced, complex, a lot of flavor, and an amazing aroma. Okay. You were telling me earlier, too, that you added some other chemicals. Uh, I don't want to, chemicals is a bad word. I don't mean to say that, but to, to, to get down kind of the, the potential of too much uh, spice. Yeah. And- I, um, an old winemaking trick, I actually, um, a great homebrew shop in Colorado Springs, I uh, sort of befriended because I wanted to really learn about beer, obviously being a salesperson. Um, and uh, it's an old winemaking trick that they use. It's uh, potassium and sulfate and potassium sorbate. And it, what it does, it's a stabilization, so it stops kind of re-fermentation in a bottle. Oh, yeah. So when I use cranberry juice, obviously, there's a lot of sugar in there. Um, there's some flavoring in there. Um, and if, if I pour that into the beer um, before I bottle it, it could have started the fermentation up again and just kind of made a, a big mess, very sugary, yeah. um, or even kind of a lambic style of a beer. Um, so what those two chemicals did was it stopped the re-fermentation and kind of stabilized everything um, and, and it allowed the beer to kind of really settle on its own. Okay. So. This was your first homebrew? This was my first all-grain beer. Um, I brewed three years prior, but I did it as team. Uh, you know, obviously, we, we love brewing at Sam Adams, so I decided to do it with a couple of my teammates, yeah. um, you know, co-workers. Um, and then, you know, for me this year, I really want to go to Oktoberfest, really want to go to Germany. Yeah. And, and I said that I'm going to try my luck in all-grain beer. I'm that kind of person. I like to kind of go balls to the wall, per yeah. se. Um, and then, uh, again, I have a great homebrew shop in Colorado Springs, and obviously I could brew the beer there, so decided to go for it and brew an all-grain beer. Okay. All right, between you and me. Mm-hmm. I know there's no, uh, there's no Boston beer people here. How close did the company get to your homebrew in this bottle of beer? Uh, you know what? I'm not a professional. They made the beer a hell of a lot better, to be honest. <laughs> it's a really good beer. Yeah, I mean, it, it, what they do and what I did, I mean, when I when I brewed the beer, obviously, very similar. Um, you know, I don't think, mine was a little bit sweeter. Um, but again, I, I'm brewing a five, you know, five-gallon batch, and these guys are mass-producing. And they did an amazing job. I mean, that's what's great about our company is the guys that we have brewing our beer are top-notch. Okay. So... All right, last thing I want to know is, uh, you know, what's different about being a Boston Beer Company, Sam Adams, long shot winner, right? You've got this kind of, I know, I would, I know among homebrewers, a little celebrity status, maybe among the company as well. What's the difference between that and, and being an uh, employee of the company? You know what, I, I, I think it's... Um there's no difference for me. It's pride. It comes down to pride. Everyone in our company, um, you know, from Jim all the way down to our, our PR, to everyone in our company, we take pride in our beer. Um, and for me, it, it just really puts the pride in the fact that I work for the best beer company in the world. And I can add, I can back up what I do every day in that cell because I can now sit down with anybody and talk about beer, how to brew it, the ingredients to use, and really add on to my sales skills in an amazing company. So it's one and the same for me. To be honest. Thanks, Krista. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.